Hi everyone, this is April Wang from University of Michigan. Today I'm presenting our Kai 21 leg breaking work, What Makes a Well Documented Notebook, a case study of data scientist documentation practices in Kaggle. This work is in collaboration with Da Kuo from IBM Research, Jamie and Shia from RPI, Soya from MIT, and my advisors Steve and Chris. Computational notebooks have become the predominant coding environment for data scientists and machine learning engineers. Computational notebooks allow users to write computational narratives that combine code, natural language documentation, and visual output in the same user interface. Compared to other coding environments, computational notebooks better serve the exploratory needs of a data science workflow. A data scientist can rapidly iterate and explore alternative solutions to a problem and see the results. The combination of code and prose also allows data scientists to easily share and present their solutions to other data scientists or business partners. Despite these benefits of having documentation and code together in a computational narrative, in reality, data scientists often neglect to write documentation in their notebooks. This raises a research question that is underexplored so far. How can we build technologies to support data scientists' documentation practice? Our ultimate research goal is to develop features to alleviate data scientists' burden of writing documentation, while still enabling rapid iteration and exploration. As a first step to fulfill this vision, we need to build an empirical understanding of what constitutes good documentation in computational notebooks. We ask the following research questions. At the notebook level, are the top voted cargo notebooks a good approximation of well documented notebooks in comparison to generally available GitHub notebooks? At the code cell level, what types of documentation do data scientists write in the top voted notebooks? How do the documentation practices interplay with the different stages of the data science lifecycle? To answer these questions, we sampled 80 highly voted cargo notebooks and conducted a qualitative content analysis to explore their documentation practices. We replicated the notebook level descriptive analysis by Ru et al. As shown in the figure, the left side represents the descriptive visualization of the 80 highly voted computational notebooks from Kaggle, and the right side represents the descriptive visualization of the 1 million computational notebooks on GitHub. We find that the Kaggle corpus has more total cells per, per notebook than GitHub corpus. The Kaggle corpus has a rough equal ratio of markdown cells and code cells per notebook, while GitHub corpus is unbalanced with the majority of cells being code cells. Notably, Kaggle corpus has more total words in markdown cells than GitHub corpus. This result indicates that the 80 highly voted computational notebooks are better documented than general GitHub notebooks. Data science documentation covers a broad range of topics and purposes. We coded nine categories of documentation in markdown cells. For example, process describes what the adjacent code cell is doing. Headline is a styled headline for organizing the notebook into separate sections. Results describes the output from code execution. Reason explains results or critical decisions. Lastly, we find that notebook documentation interplays with the stages of data science lifecycle. We coded markdown cells based on where they belong in the data science workflow. We find that the data science problems on cargo computations contain clearly project goals and data sets. At the final grain task level, notebook authors create more markdown cells for documenting exploratory data analysis tasks and model training tasks. The rest of markdown cells are evenly distributed along with other tasks. If you would like to read more details, please refer to our paper through this link. Thank you.